Hi, first of all, congratulations. Another amazing Kung Fu Panda 3. Um, um, I love this movie because it's not only um, cartoons and animation, it's a, a lot of a big message for the children. It's uh, fascinating how we realized very soon that the best way to approach a Kung Fu Panda movie is not to think of a new story, but just think of Poe and the character and what we want to see him experience, what we want to see mm -hmm. him, what does he need. Because this franchise is truly goes, is everything is around Poe himself. And so that was the way, the approach we use it. And when we realized that we know that Poe has, all these movies are about self-empowerment, and discovering self-empowerment, and discovering who you're meant to be. And he has learned that he doesn't have to change to become a master, but deep down he's still an insecure character. And then when Poe, when, when, when Shifu comes and says, well, now is your time to teach. You must take the next step on your journey from warrior to teacher, but I'm no good at it. Of course, Poe immediately becomes this little fat ball of insecurity all over again. <clears throat> but what that does to for our story is allow for that lesson that you don't have to change to become a true master to back, come back to the surface as Poe is going to have to teach that very same message to a whole new generation of little baby pandas. I'm going to turn you into Kung Fu masters. Hi! And also, Shifu's message to Poe, that fear that Poe felt is natural and something all of us can identify with. Because what Shifu tells Poe is, if you only do what you can do, you're never going to be more than you are now. So that fear of doing something you don't know how to do, going out of your comfort zone is something that a kid could understand if they've mastered kindergarten, now they gotta go to junior or elementary school, and then junior high school, and then high school, and then college, and then get a job, or become a parent. Every stage of our lives, we're having to push ourselves to become our best, fullest potential. Prepare for war, are you kidding me? Wow. When you talk about message in movies, the real struggle is make sure that you don't become pedantic and try to teach and become preachy about it, sending a message to the kids and to the audience. So the trick is using the cinematic language to just have fun with the movie, have fun with some characters. And then when you walk out, you're like, oh, I think I understand also a message. And that balance is something that is really kind of hard to do. Good time, bad time? Time is an illusion. There is only the now. So now the good time oh like you had amazing actors like angelina jolie dustin hoffman jack black i mean um the kate hudson all these guys and so they are such professional they're so amazing that they really became a partner with us in finding these new characters and who their 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 performance would be that's right so brian cranston's character the father for mm -hmm. instance he was there while we were crafting what is his personality? What is his, his mm -hmm. likes and dislikes? Mm -hmm. In the beginning, it was a much more stern father. And then I think that that sort of comedy feelings that, that Brian Cranston could even bring into a role created a father yeah. that was more like Poe. He reshaped it for us. Yeah, he became this guy that was like, what would Poe be if he turned 45 years of age and never had the discipline of Kung Fu? He Who are you? I'm Li Shan. I'm looking for my son. That scene, and yeah, especially right. someone like Jack Black, because we encourage him as much as the rest of the cast to just come up with something, just push. Sure. Where would the characters go? Yeah. And a lot of the true, the true Kung Fu Panda moments sometimes are given to us by our actor. Like the moment that Jeff, Jack Black goes skadoosh on when Poe flicks his little finger in that particular move in the first movie that followed through all the franchise, it was an ad lib from him. Yeah. You must be the dragon warrior. How about you spare me the chit chat? I'm going to take uh, your chit chat. <laughs>